Hey, everyone. We are live at the Pace Studios in New York right now with San Fermin. San Fermin, thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, and congratulations to you because the Cormorant Part 1 comes out tomorrow. We're uh, very excited. Yeah, dude, that's a weird-looking bird, the Cormorant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have, I've spent a little bit of time in Monterey, California, and they nest right there on the cliffs. I've seen cormorants and their long, weird necks, and uh, we'll dive into the reasoning behind that very soon, but let's get into the music. So we're going to hear three songs from it and a surprise cover as well. Can you tell us what's first? This song is called The Hunger. This hunger that I can't describe, this hunger but I don't know why Another night, another try, I'm starving like I'm gonna die I'm staring through an empty suit like why did I wear these fucking shoes I'm Thank you. This is a total pleasure. Your voices sound great. I like your band a lot. Thank you for, <laughs> for playing for us today. Thanks, Brad. Thanks. Um, can we, so like, this is the laziest question possible, but it's going to have a good answer in this case. Uh, can you talk about the why this album is called what it's called? Uh, I feel like we're in really good hands because it is so specifically 
thought out? Can you <laughs> tell the internet yeah. why it is called this? Yeah, yeah. I was when I was writing this record, a lot of it I was staying in this little town in Iceland. Um and uh I would go every morning for a walk before I would start writing. And the cormorant is like they're these sort of snake like birds. They they're everywhere uh in Iceland and they're they're kind of terrifying. They like really look like a death auger. And have you I seen would, when they're when the neck expands the way it does? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's they're kind of they're yeah, they're very like ominous. Thank you. I know. And uh yeah, and so I would walk to um this one spot that was like this sort of abandoned fishing dock, and there'd always be two birds, two cormorants there. And every day, like the weather would be different, but they'd always be there. And so it sort of just became this. I felt like I was every day, like sort of making this pilgrimage to like say hello. <laughs> so you could have either written uh, this record or a horror movie because that sounds like the treatment to mm-hmm. the beginning yeah. of a, an abandoned well, dock, yeah. two cormorants, and. Well, you know, like when I first started this band, uh, I was like starting to write the first record, and I had this dream uh, that I had this dream that that a, a movie executive have come, had come to me and like given me this piece of advice that was so good, and I woke up in the middle of the night and I wrote it down, and then I fell back asleep, and I woke up the next morning. And it just said, make it kind of creepy with like eight E's. <laughs> <laughs> so in a way, that's like still what we're doing, you know. <laughs> well, I love the specific brand of creepy that you guys landed on. The the vocal harmony outstanding. I really, really like the songwriting a lot. And uh, um Dude, it, I don't know if you wrote this or not, but there's so many paragraphs about, I, th- I mean, this is your words, you must have said it, but there's so many paragraphs about what this album is about specifically, oh, and no. it is so <laughs> specific, dude, and I don't know, I feel like I'm in good hands songwriting wise, and uh, I don't know, I said that before, can you tell, you're going to do a second and a third and a fourth song as well, can yeah. you tell us what's coming yeah. up second? Uh, yeah, this song is called Summer by the Void. Thrill of seventeen love. The air around me was a buzz with the sound of summer romance in the branches. On the sea, something just underneath love. We were young, we were tender, intended to. Will you tend to me now? All oh, the humming noise of summer by. Now it's me, only me, love And I'm lost in a dream, love And I am older now, holding out, thinking about How I'll miss the details Summer 
Thank you. Um, can we, dude, Alan, the internet says Alan's voice is the warmest of blankets. That's a really Aww, nice compliment. Yeah. Alan. I like that. Thank you so much. <laughs> well done. Uh, can we talk about, so this is, this is the Cormorant part one. This will eventually, there will be a part two. Can you talk about the, the reasoning behind uh, releasing it this way? Yeah, there's a couple of reasons. Um, one is like when I really looked at there's 16 songs total and I looked at it, I realized that there was like a really clear middle point um, where it just makes sense for there to be almost like a intermission. Um, and the second half of the record, which will come out later, it like looks back at some of the stuff from the first half of the record, but it's kind of messed up. Like there's it's like a um, a lot of the record is about how memories kind of change over time. And so that uh, is mirrored in the way that the music happens over these two uh, parts. And also, you know, it's like an hour of music. So it's kind of nice to split it in half and like give people a little bit of a, you know, time to listen to both. Do you, are you a fan of David Lynch? Yeah, totally. <clears throat> yeah. Big fan. Awesome. Me too. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Love him. Um, you guys sound great. Thank you so much for coming. We've we're at the midway point right now, right? We've got a third and a fourth song happening. Can you tell us what is coming next? Yeah, this song is called Saints, um, which actually will be we have a video for it coming out tomorrow uh, when the record is released as well.
Man, I pretty much stopped doing my job. I stopped cutting between <laughs> cameras because I just got massive goosebumps. You sound great. Um, it's just the wide camera for like the last 45 seconds of this, and it doesn't matter. It's great. Um, so you mentioned that a lot of the songwriting, if not all of the songwriting, was done on a haunted dock in Iceland. Um, was And then the, a lot of the work, a lot of the production work was done in Brooklyn. Was that a logistical thing that just made sense to do it that way? Or do you seek out the haunted dock and and know that you wanted that vibe yeah. to the, the songwriting? Yeah, Iceland's pretty expensive, actually. So I did get out of there after about a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, no, it's... Um, I think this is actually it's a pattern that's happened a few times on our records uh, that I like to get away for the songwriting part, at least for the beginning of the songwriting part, just because I think it puts you in a different headspace if you're not, you know, in the same place you always are. Um, Where have you gone off to in the past? Uh, I mean, the first record I wrote when I was in Canada, I was in the, the Rockies at, uh, in Banff. And the second record I wrote in New Hampshire, I just I try to go somewhere for like three to four weeks to like get this, the beginning of the, of so that I know what the thing's going to be about. And then I come back and it's like, you know, we have, I mean, I have these amazing resources with this band of these people who are so they have their own ideas and they all have their own projects that are really great. And so I, when I bring it to them, it's like somewhere between an outline and a finished product. And I start to work with them a little more, uh, particularly Alan, who I've known since I was 15. Like he comes in and hey. sort of, yeah, we love Alan. <laughs> Uh, who he uh, you know he comes in and kind of says like okay this is good this is good this is embarrassing and we kind of like figure out why and like uh, and I think that that's like a really good sort of working relationship and then uh, in you those know, words is that exactly how it goes Alan no, says but, this know. is <laughs> it's actually it's actually a little bit it's more of a power play he'll just say well I'm not gonna sing that is usually what he said uh, yeah yeah uh, but, you know, and then it's like, you know, then, then, then we're here and then we start recording and often I'll add a couple of songs. So that one that you just heard, I actually added when I was back in, in New York. Nice. Yeah, I did not have that haunted vibe. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> haunted dog. so much. I enjoyed it a lot. The vocal harmonies on that last one, man, it's just, I've got goosebumps everywhere and in places that I didn't know goosebumped, but they do. Uh, so now I know. Um, you're going to do a cover now and I still I didn't ask you this on purpose is this actually are you actually doing the thing that w you emailed me about or oh god I don't know we'll, we'll surprise you yeah, yeah. Do I think the answer is yes maybe maybe not um, yeah. before we go though I just, before we play it I just want to introduce the band if, yeah, if I have a second so on vocals that's Claire Wellen hey. Carly Bruce Aki Ishiguro Ooh, Tyler yeah. McDermott yeah. hiding off camera but singing Summer by the Void was Alan Tate Right. Uh, I'm Ellis. Stuck in my head, stuck on my heart, stuck on my body, body. I wanna go, get out of here, I'm sick of the party, party. I'd run away, I'd run away with you. Ooh. This is the part you gotta say, all that you're feeling, feeling. Packing my bag, leaving tonight while everyone's sleeping, sleeping. Let's run away, I'd run away. Feeling, I'll be a sinner in secret. 
Up in the clouds, high as a kite, over the city, city. We never sleep, we never try. When you are with me, with me, I wanna stay. I wanna stay with you. Thank you for coming and doing this. It sounded great. Uh, the Cormorant Part 1 is out in the world tomorrow. Thank you for sharing music uh, from it with us today. And uh, tour safely. Tour starts in uh, Concord, New Hampshire on October 16th. And you're at Union Transfer in Philly on November 23rd. And the whole thing wraps here at Brooklyn Steel on uh, on December 6th. Uh, there's a lot more dates than that. They're all up at sanforminband.com. Uh, please travel safely through all those dates. Enjoy all of it. And best of luck on the album. I like it a lot. I <laughs> hope people listen to it because it's good. Uh, thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much. <laughs>